is a growing threat to the economy. BizTech magazine reports cyber crimes cost the global economy over $600 billion a year. Well, if you shop at Home Depot, you'll want to hear about this. J.P. Morgan Chase says hackers have gathered information on millions of their account holders. Almost half of manufacturers have fallen victim to cyber crime. That's according to the 2018 report of cybersecurity manufacturing. With the severity and intensity of these crimes, the need for quality cybersecurity professionals are in high demand. Glendale Community College is training students to be ready. Here, inside the GCC Cyber Cave, students plug in to keep you safe. The Cyber Club gives them the ability to start experiencing some of the skills that they need and how to defend the network in a pressure-packed situation. It's a shared belief by experts in the cyber community that once you plug into the internet, you are no longer safe. And to put this into perspective for you, this is the Norse attack map. And these are real cyber attacks happening in real time. Notice the IP addresses here. Well, you can see where the attacks originate, and you're probably thinking, then why not prosecute? The reason is they're doing a botnet. A botnet is a group of zombie computers being controlled by the hacker. While all this may sound so high tech. Industry is changing and saying, you know, rather than have an advanced degree, I need someone that can fix my problem. We're incorporating not just curriculum, but also an environment through our GCC Cyber Club to try and give students a practical application of what they're learning in order to be able to solve real world problems. At GCC, cyber students train in a unique and innovative facility. They can obtain a certificate, take add-on courses, and even compete in competitions across the world. All this prepares them for not just a job, but a career. 100%. I don't know where I would be here um, without this program, without these classes. According to CyberSeek.org, there are currently about 7,000 vacancies in cybersecurity in Arizona. Nationally, there's 300,000. That number is expected to jump to 1 million vacancies by the end of 2019. Forbes reports even entry-level pay is about $10,000 better than the national medium salary, and those who reach the top, they are getting into the $500,000 range. That's the good news. It's also the bad news for society. Today's hackers have become so sophisticated, they can overcome even the best network security measures, such as the experience for one GCC student and her work. My company got hit with a ransomware attack, so they reached down to every department. I was one of the people that did help IT in restoring all the systems to functionality. Cybersecurity is clearly a job sector of the future, but it's also important to know how to protect yourself now from cybersecurity vulnerability. It's recommended to change your password every 90 days. Keep a password that's 12 to 15 characters, including alphanumerical and special characters. Never do any banking on your phone, and don't use public Wi-Fi to conduct any financial transactions. From Maricopa Now, I'm Lisa Aquafreda.